Oumuamua is an interstellar object characterized by a relatively flat, elongated shape resembling that of a cigar. Astronomers possess limited certainty regarding the origin and nature of the subject in question. Oumuamua, a diminutive celestial body, originated from interstellar space and traversed the inner solar system in the autumn of 2017, closely approaching the Sun. According to certain approximations, the solar system is believed to harbor a range of interstellar objects, with estimates ranging from 1,000 to 10,000, which are predominantly located in the remote regions of the solar system and remain imperceptible to our observations. The observed objects exhibit a trajectory aligned with the motion of our solar system within the spatial domain, analogous to the perception of raindrops seemingly approaching directly towards a vehicle's windshield while driving in rainy conditions. This finding garnered attention due to its distinction as the initial verified entity originating from a planetary system external to our own. The object in question is referred to by its Hawaiian name which translates to a messenger from afar arriving first. This name is particularly apt, given that it is the initial interstellar object to have been detected within our solar system. The selection of a Hawaiian name for the newly discovered celestial object can be attributed to the geographical location of the telescope responsible for its detection, namely PANSTARS-1, which is situated in Hawaii. The celestial object known as Oumuamua was not detected by astronomers until it had already traversed a considerable distance within our solar system. On September 9, 2017, the object in question achieved perihelion, denoting its minimum distance from the Sun, at a proximity of approximately 23 million miles 37 million kilometers. The shape of Oumuamua was also noteworthy. The preliminary measurements indicated that the object exhibited a long cylindrical shape, with a size ratio of 10 to 1, indicating that its length was 10 times greater than its width. Nevertheless, astronomers subsequently made adjustments to these measurements, resulting in an approximate ratio of 6 to 6 to 1, which is indicative of a flatter, pancake-like structure. The dimensions of Oumuamua were determined to be relatively small, with an estimated length of 377 feet, 115 meters, width of 364 feet, 111 meters, and thickness of 62 feet, 19 meters. These measurements were derived from its albedo of 0.1, indicating that it reflected approximately 10% of the incident sunlight, a value commonly observed in cometary nuclei. Astronomers had eagerly anticipated the arrival of an interstellar object similar to Oumuamua for a considerable duration. For several decades, researchers have postulated the existence of such interstellar entities. The object was officially designated as 1I Oumuamua by astronomers, where the 1I signifies its status as the first interstellar object detected within our solar system. However, it is now commonly referred to as Oumuamua. The existence of interstellar objects had been hypothesized prior to the discovery of Oumuamua. Nevertheless, the outcome did not align with the astronomers' initial expectations. The object in question, despite its diminutive size and atypical form, did not exhibit the typical characteristics of a comet. Nevertheless, its motion appeared to resemble that of a comet undergoing outgassing. The prevailing hypotheses revolve around the sublimation process of either nitrogen or hydrogen ice. There is a lack of empirical evidence supporting the hypothesis that Oumuamua is of extraterrestrial origin and functions as a spacecraft. It was not an alien spaceship but it could be an unmanned alien probe sent to do a flyby and report home? The shape of the thing and the trajectory may indicate that. We did not found any electromagnetic emissions coming from the object, but what if there was none to detect? 
some argue that another evidence supporting it was not an artificial object. It was because it was tumbling rather than having a steady orientation, but an intelligent alien life could that had in mind when design it. Make it look like is natura in origin, hide all telltale sigs of its artificial making. Interstellar objects originate from planetary systems other than our own, propelled into interstellar space through two primary mechanisms, colossal collisions that fragment protoplanets, and the gravitational forces exerted by wandering gas giant planets. The identification of Oumuamua as the initial interstellar visitor provides valuable insights into the characteristics of extrasolar planetary systems. The origin star system of Oumuamua remains unknown. In 2018, astronomers conducted a study to trace the trajectory of Oumuamua, a celestial object. The investigation revealed that Oumuamua had traversed a path that brought it in proximity to four stars. Notably, the object had its closest encounter with the red dwarf star known as HIP 3757 approximately one million years ago. It is plausible that Oumuamua originated from that location, or alternatively, it may have traversed interstellar space for an extended period of time. The celestial bodies within our solar system, including planets, asteroids, and comets, exhibit closed-loop orbits around the Sun. The trajectory of Oumuamua exhibited distinct variations. The hyperbolic trajectory of the object, indicating its rapid approach towards the Sun, which resulted in the Sun's gravitational influence causing a slight deflection in Oumuamua's path, rather than capturing it in a closed orbit. This implies that Oumuamua, with a velocity of 16.36 miles per second, 26.33 kilometers per second, relative to the Sun's motion, possessed the capability to continue its trajectory towards the departure point of the solar system. The Hubble Space Telescope observed that Oumuamua exhibited a non-gravitational acceleration in its trajectory away from the Sun. The observed phenomenon of comets exhibiting additional propulsion due to the expulsion of dust and water vapor in their tails is a common occurrence. However, the detection of water or other volatile gases outgassing from Oumuamua, a comet-like object, was not observed. There exist two primary hypotheses that offer explanations for the nature of Oumuamua. It has been suggested that Oumuamua may potentially be composed of a solid mass of nitrogen ice. In 2015, during its flyby of Pluto, the New Horizons spacecraft made noteworthy observations of regions like Sputnik Planitia, which exhibited characteristics resembling frozen nitrogen lakes. These findings led to the speculation that Oumuamua, an interstellar object, might potentially be a remnant of nitrogen ice that was ejected from a celestial body similar to Pluto due to a significant impact event. The propulsion of Oumuamua could have been facilitated by the emission of nitrogen gas due to outgassing, which occurs when the heat from the sun causes the solid nitrogen to transition directly into a gas state. The presence of nitrogen would have resulted in Oumuamua possessing an albedo of 0.64, indicating a higher level of reflectivity compared to the average comet. Consequently, in order for Oumuamua to have exhibited such a faint appearance, it would have had to possess a smaller size than initially estimated. Each comet that traverses our solar system experiences an acceleration as it moves away from the Sun. Firstly, during its trajectory around the opposite side of the Sun, the celestial body experiences a gravitational force exerted by the Sun, which imparts a propulsive effect akin to the cracking of a whip. Furthermore, the presence of dust on the surface of the comet leads to the phenomenon of outgassing, which occurs as a result of solar heating. This outgassing generates a natural jet, thereby contributing to an increased acceleration. However, Oumuamua's diminutive size precluded the presence of surface dust, thereby negating the formation of a luminous halo, known as a coma, which typically envelopes conventional comets and gives rise to their distinctive tails. An additional hypothesis posited is that during Oumuamua's journey through interstellar space, 
interactions between cosmic rays and surface ice could have resulted in the release of hydrogen from certain water molecules, thereby generating a reservoir of hydrogen gas confined within amorphous water ice. When Oumuamua traversed the vicinity of the Sun, the interstellar entity experienced thermal energy, albeit insufficient to induce the sublimation of water ice. In contrast, the application of heat altered the arrangement of the ice crystals, resulting in the release of hydrogen at a velocity ranging from 0.4 to 28 ounces per second or 10 to 800 grams per second. This phenomenon ultimately accounted for the observed propulsion exhibited by the object Oumuamua. This observation could potentially account for the absence of a discernible dust tail in Oumuamua, as the dust particles may have remained confined within the water ice. The primary conclusion drawn from the analysis is that Oumuamua exhibits characteristics indicative of a conventional interstellar comet that underwent substantial processing. But an increasing number of prominent individuals assert that Oumuamua could potentially be an extraterrestrial spacecraft originating from distant regions of the cosmos. Aliens are not stupid, if they posse's interstellar traveling technology even in a form of an unmanned probe, it's fair to say that if they want not to disclose their existence, a probe that resembles a natural phenomenon like a comet or asteroid could be sent on a flyby mission. The hypothesis suggesting that Oumuamua was a purposefully dispatched extraterrestrial probe to the vicinity of Earth is derived from the identical observations that initially classified it as a celestial iceberg.